Okay, so y'all just gonna have to accept the fact that I look ratchet sometimes. Like, I look like a troll right now. But I'm about to get in the shower and do my hair. So, the story is... Sorry, the food in my teeth is just gonna eat. Okay. The rest of the story, basically, is... So, I get there. And they're like, okay, so how are you gonna pay for this? And I'm like, I'm gonna sign bunch of loans they're like okay they pull out the loan I sign off on it they ask my dad are you um signing off for the parent plus loan for the remaining six thousand dollars my daddy's like the remaining what no she gonna have to figure it out he's like well you might as well come on back home I'm like no we did not pack this whole car up I fought down here to get to my dream school to go home I'm like, sorry, daddy. I'm going to work. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm staying. He said, okay. I said, I'm going to figure it out. I prayed about it and I left it alone. Needless to say, fast forward time, meal plan got cut off. They're like, well, you can't even register for a class. You have a birth star hold on your account. And I'm just crying and crying and crying. And I'm like, what the heck am I going to do? I really need to finish school. And so that happened that time. And I prayed about it. I pray, I pray, and I cry, and I pray, and I cry. And God changed my daddy's heart, and he signed on a Parent PLUS loan, which was really great. And then they gave me some uh, money from the Perkins loan. So I got $4,000 from them. So all my daddy had to sign for was two. So I was like, oh, that's so super great. I really appreciate it. Signed up for classes. Lots of y'all not. Almost every doggone semester, with the exception of one. I don't know why I did that like y'all couldn't tell, but that's one. <laughs> Almost every doggone semester, they told me the same thing. You going home. You going home. And each time, found a different way. They took out a parent plus loan another time, thank God. And my grandmother lent me some money another time. Rest her soul. So, needless to say, every time they told me no, I came back with a check talking about what you know about my God. Okay? I had people that was like, they knew where, what I was going through. They even donated, like, towards the end, they ended up donating for my cap and gown. Somebody was so sweet, they literally bought my cap and gown. Random stranger. So, yeah, that was my financial story, just to make that short, sweet, and to the point, because... That's basically what happened. So, the other trials and tribulations that I went through in college, I lost my grandmother. It was in 2010, June 10th. It happened during the summer. Um, that's another story. That's probably the next story time if I can be strong enough to record that. Um, I lost my grandmother while I was in college. And... It was really tough because my grandmother was dang near my mother. Like, I still have my mother and everything, but that's my mother's mother. And we're, like, extremely close, our whole family. And so that was, like, the toughest thing I had ever had to deal with. I had never lost any family members really close to me. So it was times where I'd be in class and they'll say something or I'll see something and it reminds me of her. So I'll run out of class and I'll go sit in the hallway and i just cry or i go home. And I couldn't deal with class because I was grieving. So I was flunking classes because of that. Not to mention, before my grandmother passed, two of her brothers passed. I had a aunt that passed. Like, it was just back to back to back to back to back to back deaths. Um, not only that, but me and the college boyfriend I told y'all about. Sorry if you're watching this. Don't take offense to it. Because we're cool now. But um, he was cheating on me. So not only was I going through deaths in the family, I was going through relationship woes. And then um, we ended up breaking up. And it wasn't such a great breakup. So um, it was it was just real, like, a lot that I was going through. Then um, I was out of the dorms and I was trying to look for an apartment. 
Um, before that, I had actually got kicked out of Ball State because I wasn't able to keep my grades up because of all the grieving that I was going through and the breakups. And my grades was just sliding. That was the second time. The first time I got kicked out, or shall I say dismissed, I got academically dismissed the first time because the transition from Ivy Tech to Ball State kicked my butt for a whole year. And I couldn't, I couldn't hang with the curriculum, even though I was on the dance list at Ivy Tech. I got to Ball State, and it was a totally different story. So they kicked me out the first time. I wrote a letter um, to appeal, and that was when we had the first family death, and plus, like I said, the transition. So I wrote a letter about that, and I appealed, and they let me back in. The second time, like I said, that was when a whole bunch of family died. Then boyfriend cheated on me, and then broke up. Like I, I think I might actually still have my letters that I wrote to them. Um, concerning academic dismissal. So if y'all would like to hear some letters and some more about my academics, and um, I went to school for video production. So if you guys would like to hear about that, just let me know, comment below, and I will go ahead and I'll record a video um, called College Life. So um, anyways, like I said, they let me back in the second time. That was the last time I got kicked out. So... Yeah, um, during that time, like I said, I was trying to find a place to stay because I was out of the dorms at this point. And I was trying to find an apartment. And I'm sorry, y'all got food down in my teeth. And I couldn't... Sorry. <laughs> and I couldn't find nowhere to live that was, like, cheap enough. And I was trying to find a job at the same time. One of my friends was like, oh, you can stay with me. And I was like, well, actually, no, that didn't happen. I think I was about to stay somewhere. I don't remember how exactly this happened. But, oh no, I got back at ball, I got back in Ball State at the last second because of the appeal. And I didn't know if I was going to have enough money to even come back. So I was like, ain't no need of me looking for a place if I don't have the money to come back. So like I said, I ended up getting the money. And then I hit up my boyfriend and I was like, hey, because he had an apartment. And this is before we broke up, actually. Like, right before we broke up. And I was like, hey, can I just stay with you for a little bit until I get my stuff together? And he agreed. Um, Against better judgment, he agreed. And my parents, oh, they was not having it. They was heated. But they were like, we really want you to continue school. And you need to be down there within, like, two days. So they're, they were just like, do what you got to do and get the heck up out of there. Period. If I got to help you, I will. But just get down there, get it together, because this is not a good situation. Like I told y'all, we were raised in church. So I was like, okay, I agree. Got down there. Like I said, we living together, cool. At the wild, boyfriend was like, nah, this ain't going to work. We, we ain't doing this God's way and whatnot. And so he started sleeping on the couch. I'm sleeping in the room. By that time, things got more rocky between us. I started finding out about extra stuff. I can make that another vlog if y'all want me to. And he cheated. We broke up. I'm still living there. And I'm like, I got to go. I got to go. And then he got to the point, he like, you got to go. You got to go. So I was like, I'm over. And then one of my friends was like, hey, girl, you could come stay with me. Blah, 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 blah. Star staying with her. I'm thinking everything cool. She ain't got no money. She finna get kicked out. I'm like, oh my God. So basically, I'm homeless. Really? Meanwhile, I'm still trying to find a job, trying to find somewhere to stay. My daddy trying to help me. And um, she gets another apartment. I move in with her. Again. And so everything is going cool until me and her get into it because she was really insensitive when it came to my grandmother. Um, she was like, we was watching something and she was like, oh, you might as well get over it. Oh my God. I'm so tired of hearing about your grandma. And I was like, Mary, for real? Like she was pregnant or whatever. And so I was like, hormones are not like that's rude as ever. You don't say nothing like that to nobody that just lost their grandma. So I was pissed off with her and I decided I was going to move out. And I hit up our friend, Nisi And I was like, what up, Nisi? Can I come stay with you? Blah, blah, blah. She was like, yeah, you're more than welcome to stay here as long as you like. That worked out. That was great. Um, I did stay there. And then uh, I ended up going back home like that summer. Yeah, because I was, 
I was still at her house for the remainder of the spring semester. And then summertime, I packed up and I went home. And then I came back out. And then that's when I had my apartment. My dad helped me out. I ended up finally just saying, okay, I, I want my own apartment. So that all worked out as far as that was concerned. But so those were the trials and tribulations that I went through that I almost dang near did not make it. Almost dang near did not graduate. Like for real, for real. Then I finally graduated and that was freaking awesome. So after this, this is part two and three. Part four will be tomorrow, and part four is basically me talking about what it meant to me to graduate from college and just um, how I felt concerning that. Um, I actually have another video to put in to that as well. Um, so thank you for watching part two slash three. And please comment below. Let me know if you guys want to hear any additional stories that I, you know, slid in there to do, that I really didn't go into detail about. As I stated, I am going to make another vlog about losing my grandmother. Um, that's totally different. But yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all for staying tuned. Putting up with looking at me look like a troll. And I'm going to go do my hair now. Bye.